They say the West wasn't won until they lost it. But what if I told you that within that loss is an incredible legacy? Today, we're diving into a captivating tale that will transport you to the wild and untamed days of the American frontier. In this video, we'll learn a lot about Quanah Parker, the last chief of the Comanche tribe. First, we'll look at Quanah's early life as the son of a Comanche fighter and a Texan settler held captive. Then we will shoot straight into an exciting story of survival, resiliency, and that of culture change. Juana Parker's story will test what you think you know about American history and shed light on a less well-known part of it. So get ready to be amazed at how he connected two worlds and led his people through one of the most difficult times in history. Here's a quick one. In the face of overwhelming odds, when Native American groups had to deal with the loss of their ancestral lands and the dying sounds of their way of life, Quanah Parker became a sign of strength. He connected two worlds and left a mark on history that will never be erased. But how did he do this? Let's find out. When Quanah Parker was born in the early 1800s, it marked the meeting of two different societies and represented the coming together of two worlds. His father, Peter Nokona, was a famous Comanche chieftain. His mother, Cynthia Ann Parker, was a European woman taken in by the Comanche tribe and raised as one of their own. As a result, Quana was raised with the values, customs, and strength of his Comanche heritage. This gave him a unique view of the world outside of his tribe. As he grew up, Quana saw the two sides of himself. He was skilled in both the Comanche language and English, which he learned by talking to traders and settlers. Because he could speak more than one language, he could interact with both Comanche and people outside of his tribe. Quana was raised in the traditional Comanche way. He learned the habits, stories, and spiritual beliefs of his people. He saw how strong and determined the Comanche fighters were, which helped him develop his fighting spirit and leadership skills at a young age. His knowledge of Comanche customs and his ability to deal with the world as it changed made him a unique and important person. Quana's mixed background also gave him a wider view of the conflicts between Native American groups and the new settlers. He saw the fights, the loss of land, and the change in how his people lived. This made him even more determined to protect his tribe's interests and keep their traditional heritage alive in face of constant change. As the winds of change blew across the Great Plains, Quana stood as a leader with a clear vision, who knew his people had to change to stay alive. He knew how important communication was and tried to make peace within his tribe, with other Native American tribes, and with the American government. Quana saw that the Comanche weren't just strong because they were warriors. They were also strong because they could change and adapt to new situations. The arrival of settlers and the way they surrounded their native lands made it hard for them to live the way they wanted to. Quana was wise and could see into the future, so he knew that his people's decline was sure if they stuck to the old ways. Quana's visionary leadership was a key factor in bringing together the Comanche bands and turning them into a powerful force that other Native American groups and the US government had to respect. Because he was so good at diplomacy, he could guide his people through the dangerous waters of changing alliances and ensure their safety and well-being in a world that was changing quickly. Quana knew the Comanche people were strongest when they worked together, not just in their bands. Conversely, he saw that their divisions made them weaker and more open to pressures from the outside. So Quana set out on a mission to bring the scattered Comanche bands together and give his people a feeling of unity and purpose. He got the Comanche people to work together because he knew a lot about their shared history and the problems they faced. Quana's dynamic leadership and ability to think strategically helped him bring the different bands together and make them feel like a team. His skill as a diplomat helped him find his way through the complicated web of relationships and negotiations that made up the changing American West. He knew that keeping the peace with nearby tribes and the American government was important for the Comanche people's survival and well-being. He made partnerships with other Native American nations through skillful diplomacy. He knew the power of working together to solve problems they all faced. He also talked with the American government about the rights and safety of his people and tried to get things done for them. 
Quan's skill at handling these tricky negotiations ensured that the Comanche still had a role in the time's fast-changing political and social world. Under Quana's guidance, the united Comanche force earned respect and became a force to be reckoned with. Native American tribes and the U.S. government had to accept the Comanche band's existence and talk to them more equally because they showed a united front. With Quana's vision and leadership, the Comanche people came together as a single group that demanded the respect they earned. Quana did much more for his community than just being a leader and politician. He worked hard to keep the Comanche people's rich cultural history alive and spread it to new generations. Seeing how important it was to keep their customs alive, he fought for the revival of native languages, the revival of sacred ceremonies, and the passing down of ancestral knowledge to future generations. Quana knew a community's language was an important part of its culture. He understood how important it was for local languages to be ways of expressing culture and identity. So he worked hard and with much energy to get the Comanche language taught and kept alive. He wanted to make sure that the Comanche people would always be able to talk to their ancestors and pass on their history. He did this by bringing back their original language. Quana knew that sacred practices were just as important as the language to keep the Comanche people's spiritual essence alive. These ceremonies had strong cultural and religious meanings, and they helped people connect with nature and the spirits of their ancestors. He was very important in reviving and keeping these sacred customs alive, ensuring his people pass them down and use them. He also worked hard to teach younger people the information and wisdom of their ancestors. He knew that stories, customs, and traditional ways of doing things were important to keeping cultural history alive and safe. He ensured the Comanche traditions and ideals would last by helping to teach and guide the young people. Quana Parker made a big difference, lasting long after leaving this world. Native American leaders, activists, and artists continue to be inspired by him, which gives them the power to reclaim and celebrate their history. His spirit lives on today, reminding us that the West story isn't just one of victory, it's also a story of survival, adaptation, and the power of the human spirit. Kwana's trip shows how strong and determined Native Americans can be. In the face of huge problems, he welcomed change, looked for peaceful partnerships, and stressed the importance of unity and preserving culture. Native American leaders today are inspired by his amazing ability to connect different worlds and manage the changing landscape of the West. This helps them speak up for their communities and fight for them. His influence goes beyond the political and social. He is a shining example for Native American activists who work to protect indigenous rights, protect sacred places, and solve the problems their communities face daily. His story tells them that the fight for justice and recognition is a group effort that stands on the shoulders of those who came before. Quana Parker's influence also lives on in art and other forms of cultural expression. Through his path of cultural revitalization, he rekindled Comanche traditions and helped bring back indigenous art, music, storytelling, and dance. Native American artists today are inspired by Quana's dedication to preserving cultural history. They use their creativity to reclaim stories, question stereotypes, and celebrate the many different cultures of the indigenous people. Quana's story shows us that history isn't just about who won and who was in charge. It's also about how strong and flexible the human spirit is. It makes us think about the different stories we've heard about the West and how important it is to recognize the opinions and contributions of indigenous peoples.